Hey guys, this is Trevor from Gadget Wraps, and this is the installation video for all of our wraps and screen protector combos for the Pebble Time Round. So this is the same video, whether uh, you're installing a wood wrap, a carbon wrap, matte, gloss, brushed, this is all the same video. The only other video that we have is the full clear protector, which if you have a wrap, if you have anything that's colored, this is the correct video for you. Now, I'm sure that you're thinking to yourself, with the screen protector, because the watch isn't waterproof, is this going to be a wet or dry install? For the actual wrap part, the part that goes around the edge of the screen, uh, like the wood and carbon or whatever you have, that's a dry install. For the screen protector, it's going to be a wet install. Your watch is more than capable of handling a couple sprays of water, it is water resistant, and we've been installing this on our own watches without issue, so do not worry about it. So the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is you're going to want to take off the leather strap of your watch. Once that's done, you will want to turn off your watch. Press the center button, go up to settings, down to system, shut down, press okay. So for this installation, you're gonna need the wrap, obviously, um, a microfiber cloth, the card inside of the bag that we included with your purchase, um, a spray bottle full of water. It helps if you have just one drop of dish soap in this water, because it allows the water to uh, slide out from the protector a lot easier. And then also you'll need the cutout circular screen protectors that go in the center of the wrap. So the first step is you're gonna to want to clean off the screen of your watch. So this is what you're gonna be installing. And what we've done differently with this versus all of the rest of the wraps that we've ever sold is that we've actually cut out the center of the, the transfer film. So you won't have uh, as much of a problem trying to, to, to line up the actual skin when you go to put it on your watch. So what this actually is, is there's a clear film with a hole cut out, which will allow you to install this. So what you're going to want to do first is you're going to want to rub the surface of the film, make sure it's really stuck to the actual skin part. Um, the only thing that you're going to be able to use to line up is the inside edge of the skin and the hole that's cut out for the ambient light sensor on the bottom of your pebble time round. So you'll slowly peel it back like this. If it's not coming up, you can kind of push it like this and then pull it up. It should pretty easily come up. If it doesn't, if there's part of the skin that isn't being bonded, put it back down and push it and really make sure that that transfer film is sticking to the surface of the skin. So once that's done, you will hover this over the surface of your watch and you'll do your best to center it and make sure that the ambient light sensor is centered and is cut out because if the ambient light sensor hole is not directly above the hole on your watch, then when your watch has the ambient light sensor mode turned on, it won't function properly. So um, I will do my best to do this on video because it's really hard to do it while I'm being watched by other people. So what I when I do this, I use my knuckles to kind of hold my hands steady and to hold this above the surface of the watch. I'm not doing this in you know free motion without holding my hands down. My knuckles are actually resting on the table. So that really helps. So let's see if we can do this. It's easiest. It's easiest if you um, if you line up the ambient light sensor first, and then use the inside rim of the bezel to just try to make sure that it's evenly spaced out. And you will have a pretty significant amount of bezel that's exposed still, since we've that's how we've designed it. So just do your best to to center it, um, and I'll try to do that right now. Mm. 
once the ambient light sensor is lined up, since the center of the screen actually isn't touching because there's no transfer film here, you can kind of use the, since this part's the only part that's really touching down, you can kind of move the skin back and forth to line it up and center it. Um, yeah, so just do your best to, to center it. I'm going to lift this off the table. You shouldn't do this, but since I can't see it from the way that I'm sitting. I'm pulling this over just to you can still kind of slide it. It's not going to be so sticky that you won't be able to, to slide it over. But once you're confident that it's pushed down, that it's centered, you're going to want to rub the surface of this the transfer film, and then slowly peel it away. You don't want to pull it out straight. You want to pull it at an angle, almost rolling it back. And that's it. So that's what it looks like when you put the skin down. If you screwed this up, if it's if you just if yeah, I mean if it was just terrible, don't get mad at yourself. Go on our website, send us a contact form, we'll send you a free one. It's not that big of a deal. Um, but just don't be mad at yourself because this is if you're doing this for the first time, it's kind of difficult. Um, but if you've done this before, it's not that bad. Uh, so yeah, so this is now installed. So the second piece is now the this this part, which is the clear cutout that goes in the center. So this is where you'll need the bottle of water. Um, so what you're going to do is you will spray the surface of your watch. You're going to spray the surface of the screen protector. Spray the inside of your hands. And once everything's wet enough, you'll just peel back one of these and it's like a contact lens it only goes one way so you can't flip it around it's not reversible make sure your hands are are wet and now you just flip it over and place it in that that hole so as long as the skin isn't isn't stretched it should just lay right in there if it doesn't if, if it's going over the edge and you, you can't seem to figure out why it's not fitting in the hole Peel it back again. As long as it's still wet, you can you can have a go with this a couple times. Spray it again and get it in there. So once it's in the hole, now you'll take this card, which you want to leave in the bag because it's waterproof now because it's inside of this this you know plastic bag, and you'll use it to just very carefully squeegee out the water from underneath the protector. If there's any bubbles, if there's any um, water that you see that's trapped underneath the protector, it will go away within 24 to 48 hours. But as it's drying over the next day or two, um, you wanna use your fingers, and if you see any you know significant bubbles or what you think is water, you can use your finger and push them, kind of push it out. Um, even like smaller bubbles aren't, the only reason they're there is because you haven't pushed them down. So sometimes it's all it takes is just you rubbing your thumb on it and the bubble will go away. So yeah, so it'll look, it'll look its best um, after about 48 hours. So give it some time to properly dry and if you completely screwed this up, don't worry about it. Um, go on our website, just to the contact part of our website and send us a contact form. Um, truly, all we want you to do is be happy. So if you screw it up, contact us, we'll send you a free one. Um, just be nice and we'll be nice and we will help you out. That's all we really wanna do is help you out and have every single customer have a positive experience. So yeah, so thanks for watching, hopefully, uh, your install went well. If it didn't, 
shoot us a contact form. Don't go on Reddit. Don't go on the forums. Let us try to help you first. If we can't and you think that we suck, then you can do that. But please just give us a chance to help you out first. Thanks so much.